Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec, and welcome to a new edition of Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to create 10 Christmas cards really quickly using scraps. Now, I'm a scrapbooker, not a card maker, so my motivation here is actually guilt. I just bought Crate Paper's new Hey Santa collection, and if I want to feel good about it, I've got to use up what I have left from last year's Crate Paper collection, which is Snowflake. And I have a pile of scraps left over, and that's what you see on the screen. So I have this chipboard piece, and it's full of beautiful embellishments still, so I'm going to use that. I have three full sheets of paper. I'm going to toss that on the side. I'm going to use that for scrapbooking, but I do want to make a dent into these scraps of paper that I have left over. Now the only thing I added to this was bulk white cardstock that I always have. That's from Stampin' Up. I have two sets of die, some stitched rectangles and some stitched basic shapes. And I also have some foam adhesive. Now I'm going to show you how to make a card base. Super easy. That's eight and a half by 11 paper. I score it in the middle at four and a quarter inches. I turn it on its side and then I cut it in half at five and a half inches and fold it. And I have two card bases. Off camera, I made another eight of them and I selected a stamp set with some Christmas sentiments. Now what I'm doing is selecting 10 embellishments from this chipboard piece. So basically I want to make 10 cards for this video. That's why I'm selecting 10 embellishments. And once that's done, what I'm going to do is go through the printed paper and kind of addition different printed papers for these embellishments. Those embellishments are going to be on the card front as well as this printed paper. So I end up selecting four different prints. And what I'm going to do is cut these papers into rectangles. So I'm going to cut 10 rectangles here. Now they end up being kind of nice if you look at them closely because there is a detailed stitching around the outside. Now these cards are very very simple but like I said those little details do add a little extra to the card. Also, you may notice I'm using kind of an assembly line approach. First, I made 10 card bases. Then I selected 10 embellishments. Then I selected my printed paper, and now I'm cutting out 10 rectangles that are going to be adhered to the card front. These are very, very simple and quick cards to make and a great way to use up your stash. Now here I'm showing you all 10 rectangles that I cut out. And now what I'm going to do is basically match up the embellishments to each one of these printed papers. I end up switching them up a bit. I put everything down, but those two green trees that are on the wax paper, I end up switching that up for different embellishments on this chipboard sheet. Anyway, I'm not overthinking it, however. This is all done very quickly. I actually made these 10 cards real time in one hour. So now what I'm going to do is select the basic shapes that I want to put on top of the printed paper and underneath the chipboard. So I want there to be a barrier between the two so that you see the embellishment. So I selected the oval as well as the medium circle and the small circle. Again, those are stitched shapes. So even though they are simple, there is a little detail which makes it kind of nice. So I cut out all of these shapes. I end up needing seven ovals, two medium circles, and one small circle. So I don't do all of that on camera. And again, I have it all piled in front of me and I'm still using this assembly line approach. Now what I'm doing is adhering the chipboard on top of these stitched shapes, the white pieces, and then I adhere that white piece with the chipboard on top of the printed paper with foam adhesive. It just adds a little bit of dimension. And then I adhered the printed paper to the card front. I end up switching up the 
process a bit in the sense that I put the printed paper on the card base first because I felt that the bumpiness with the foam adhesive and the chipboard was making a, a little bit more complicated to adhere the printed paper flat, but essentially it's the same thing. And I go through all 10 cards and I do the same thing, still with this assembly line approach. Now these cards are really, really simple. And when I make cards for my children or for a special friend or for my family, I do make cards more personal to them. But these are great little cards to give out and certainly to have on hand for last minute cards. Now what you see me doing is coming in with a few finishing touches. Basically that snowflake there, I found it kind of small for the card front. So what I did was I added a piece of ribbon behind it. And now all I'm doing is adding a couple pieces of kind of shiny self-adhesive fake diamonds to each one of these cards and that is it. All I will have left to do, and I do this on camera, is simply stamp a sentiment on the inside of each card and I will have 10 Christmas cards made. Now Christmas cards can be very expensive so to take an hour and create 10 cards with your scraps, even if they are simple, it's not that bad. So as you can see, I selected three different color inks and then I put my cards in a pile. So the first couple I'm doing here are in this peacock color and I'm stamping the very same sentiment in the bottom right of each one of these cards. These cards, Yes, they may be simple, but I will write a little note to whomever I'm sending these cards to. So I do the first four here, or three or four, or whatever I did, in that peacock color, and then I continued with the other colors. And there I have it, 10 cards created. Very simple, but they're nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Scrapbooking Quebec, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you did. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.